What's up guys, Mutt Voss here, and as you guys see, we got ourselves the ultimate kickoff promo that finally came out today. So right now, we are going to break it down, and we're going to see what we need to do, so this way it can help us out throughout the season. So, we're going to head to the solos right now, because that's where you always check for everything. And as you guys see, we got ourselves ultimate kickoff solos, and you earn a T-Captain token. Now then, with that one, we'll get into it in a minute. But as you guys see though, it's 32 solos. They're all moments, so they should not be that hard, and it should not take that long. So right now, complete all 32 of them. Went ahead to the milestones, and as you guys see, you can get 17 collectibles and one team captain upgrade token. We'll get into that in a minute. As you guys see, you gotta get all 160 stars to be able to get all these collectibles. And right now, where is it? Once we do that, we're gonna be heading to the sets, but before we do that, there are packs, obviously, in store. So, right now, if you guys want, you can get an $18 bundle for, like, 75 bucks. Each pack is 20, 28K or 5 bucks. Just to show you guys what's in it as well. There's a A3. You get an A3 overall, but you get 3.8% of a probability. For an 80, it's 14, so on and so forth. But you get three collectibles, a 70-plus gold 366 plus silver and it's 62 plus so uh silver card or better then you got the five dollar one here if i had to choose any pack though i don't have any more because i already did it but there is a booster pack though it's like five bucks if you guys really don't like spend anything i would do that because i'll show you guys really some mine buy that pack and just hold on to it t for like 10 weeks because me i picked carson wentz when there are way more than that but the way it works though is that when it comes to those cards that they will get one upgrade like an overall they go up one for every game they win for the next 10 weeks depending on what team you pick but right now i'll get more into that in a second we're gonna go to the sets right now and as you guys see it's for those cards you take the you can take say 15 collectibles i think i'll have like two at the moment and yeah i do you take those two for example you take 15 of them. I don't know where I'm getting to from now. In here, and you can choose one of the 83 overalls that are in this ad, uh, category, which would be like Kenny Galladay, Derek Carr, Norris Jenkins, Darius Leonard, so on and so forth. Then you got this one right here. You can get uh, Leonard Williams, DJ Moore. Same thing, so you got to add five more. You put 28 in here, you can get like Lane Van Der Esch, uh Grady Jarrett, uh, Everson Griffin, Chris Carson, so on and so forth. All the way up to the top, like in the th you got to put 35 in for James Conner, Ranjek, Cup, and then here James White, Carson Wentz, and Kendall Fuller. That's the one I got with the with the five dollar pack that I bought. And if the the Eagles keep winning games, like say they go on a 10 game winning streak, he will be a 93 overall. So that's why I'm saying, if you guys want, when it comes to that, hold the pack for 10 weeks and see what you can pick. Right here, though, you have the ultimate kickoff starter set. And what this is, you can put... This is probably what I'm going to do. You put 12 collectibles in here, and you will get a random collectible that will increase in training value for how many games the team wins. But as you guys see, though, you can put the tokens in for a specific one. So let's go down, say, for example, the... Let's go with the Chiefs. If they win, let's say... Let's say they win 12 games, right? They win 12 games. Winning the division doesn't count, but I'm just going to say that. Say they get 12 wins and they win the division. If a team gets between 12 to 15 wins, you get that collectible becomes 20,000 training. And obviously say, for example, the Bears, they win 16 games. That collectible becomes 50,000 training. So on and so forth, all the way down. 9 to 11 is 7,000. Uh, 3,500 training is 6 to 8 wins. 1,200 training is 3 to 5. And 0 to 2 is 600. So... As you see, though, it's also, though, like, like with the Chiefs, they have a higher chance of winning a lot of games, so they take a lot more collectibles. As for, say, the Dolphins, they have the lowest amount of chance of winning games, so they will be at 9, which is the lowest. The Eagles are at 40, for example. I'm doing the random one for fun because, at the moment, I'm not buying packs. And, let's face it, the Patriots are winning at least 12 games. How the hell am I getting that collectible with 58, uh, with 58 items? Because I'm hoping... To be honest, if that was the case, 50,000 train would be amazing. So, yeah. Win 16 games, that'd be great. Anyway, um, 
Now you have the masters, which is you got to take 120 of those collectibles and put them in here. And they are repeatable. So you have Aaron Rodgers here as one master. DeAndre Hopkins is another. Khalil Mack is the third. And Richard Sherman is the fourth. Now, like I said, you had to take 120 of these collectibles and throw them in. So, at least right now at the moment, there's two ways you can do it. You really won. You can either spend 950,000 coins on one of those cards. Or on the... Yeah, pretty much on the card. Or... You can spend $170 in packs because of the collectibles. Why do I say that? I can tell you right now. Right now, you have three collectibles, right? You take 120 collectibles you need and divide it by three because that's how many comes in each pack. Now, let me show you guys right here. It take, you get three collectibles right there. And then that becomes 40. Now, multiply that by 28,000 per pack. So that's when you get the 120. That's 1.12. So you need to spend 1.12 million coins, and they're selling for about 700 to 800,000 coins. So you can either spend that at the moment right now, so you never know, or you can literally buy two of these because you get 18 packs, which is what? Like I said, three collectibles times 18. That's 54 plus 21, which is 75. If you add another 75, that's 150. So you're spending about like 150, 170 dollars to complete one of them, or you can spend 1.12 million just by buying the packs with coins, or you can just wait for someone else to do it and just buy the card. That's at the moment though, like how it is. Just, I'm not fit to drop that much, and as you see though by the coin value, we're trying to get that up. That's what I'm trying to do. Weekend league, which by the way. I believe Weekend League is open again this weekend because of the server delays from yesterday. That's why, like, I'll be honest, I was trying to get the video up yesterday, and it was a little bit harder for that reason. But we're going to go over the Masters right now. Let's see. We're going to go to the Masters. Aaron Rodgers right here, 91 overall. He has 76 speed, 91 throw power, 92 short, 84 mid, 88 deep, 84 under pressure, 90 on the run with 85 play action. We're going to compare him to Carson Wentz. And obviously, though, this is a card I would not mind getting. When it comes to the Masters, it's two of them I want. I'm going to see if I can do it if I can at least get one of them. And you guys can figure out who I want. It's really shouldn't be that hard. DeAndre Hopkins, 87 speed, 90 catching, catching traffic, and spec catch, 94 jumping, 87 short, 86 deep, uh, medium, with 83 deep. We're going to compare him right now to Tutorial and OBJ. By the way, I played a game before I started recording, and I don't know what it is today or whatever, or just in general. He fumbles so much, OBJ, and I don't know why. Like, especially if it's on, like, a crucial drive so I can get in the score to win because I was down by four. And my man just fumbled right in the middle of the field wide open. I was like, are you kidding me? Come on. Like, that's honestly getting annoying. Richard Sherman going for 750. He has 84 speed, 85 excel, 91 agility, 87 man, 94 zone. 94 jumping, 93 player with 92 press. We go pair right now to Willie Brown. Richard Sherman is very, very good. And also powering him up here, we get 88 man. With lockdown, he should get up to 89 or 90. And then John Madden get up to 91. So he can meet the thresholds with John Madden and chemistry. The only thing with him, he's just slow. That's it. He has height, everything. He's the perfect corner. He's just older, so he's going to be a little bit slower. Khalil Mack. 82 speed, 84 agility and strength, 85 tackle, 92 play rank, 90 power move, 86 block shed with 85 finesse move. We're going to pair him right now to his old card. And right now I got plus three uh, speed, agility, plus four strength, plus one tackle, so on and so forth. The card though, honestly, I like the card art for these, to be honest. I honestly like them. It looks really cool. But actually, I don't know why I'm backing out though, because there's one more thing I want to show you guys at least with this. Also, the Mutt 10 card will be out later today. So, that'll be out around like 4 o'clock. So, if you want to know what that is, I'll probably uh, retweet it on my Twitter. So, if you want, you got to follow me there. That link will be in the description below. We're going to go back to the Ultimate Kickoff. And I just want to show you guys some of the cards you can choose from. From either the pack or that you can buy. You have Derek Carr from the Raiders. You have Jordan Poyer. Buda Baker. Let's see, you got Janoris Jenkins, Rashad Jones. As you see, though, some of them are 84s already, and some of them are already 83s. 
That's because that team already won. So they added to them already. So half the cards are 84s, the other half are 83s. Like, let's say next week now. Last night, the Bucks just won. So say if you picked OJ Howard, next week he will be an 84 overall. They update every week. So I'm going to guess since there's a Monday night game too, they're going to update them every Tuesday, I want to say. But that's the way it looks right now that we have Carson Wentz who's already an 84. Hopefully he can just keep going up. Which means the Eagles, I need them to win. I think it's 9 or 10 games straight if that's the case. So if he can go all the way up to a 93, that'd be great. Also, keep one more thing in mind, okay? Let's say, let's go to the Seahawks, right? They win this weekend against the Steelers. But then whoever they play next week, they lose. It's not just for the first 10 weeks. It's all season. So say the Seahawks don't get their 10th win till week 15, right? In the, like the middle of December. Then he'll be a 93. That's the only thing I want to keep in mind as well. Because I, I think like the, that was actually the last thing I forgot to say. Because I know some people though think like, yo, the, say the Seahawks lost uh, la- next week, they lose. Does that mean my cards are going to keep going up or is it going to stop? Also this. As you guys saw when we went here. um, Let me go to James White actually though for an example. So let me go to the Patriots and go to running back. Because some of the cards also have power-ups. And I heard them talking about this on EA Stream. So I thought like it was actually a good point to bring up as well. James White is a power-up, right? I just see he's an 81 overall. And then this is the 84. This card right here... The kickoff card has nothing to do with this power-up. So let's say James White balls out this weekend, and he gets a Team of the Week hero, right? He gets a Team of the Week hero, and it becomes a 90 overall. That 90 overall has nothing to do with this. This this is completely different than the power-up system. So when it comes to that, you can't take that power card, the 84, I believe, and put it in this set. I just know you can't because I don't see the power logo, so never mind on that. But say, like I said, if he balls out, he gets an, a 90 overall. The 84 James White kickoff doesn't turn to a 90. It stays at an 84 and unless the Patriots won. If they won, it would go up to an 85. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that works. And pretty much that's all I got with that. The last thing I want to show you guys is the... Um, Exchange set for the captains. Also, if you guys are pulling packs, I've got to go over this. Travis Kelsey, Snacks Harrison. You guys want to go pull for him? Go nuts. Anyway, let's go to the exchange set, which is right over here. And go to team captain exchange. You have to power down your team captain and put it in here. So this way you can do it. You can do it four times. Like, say, for example, I had Herman Moore. And I'm like, yo, I wanted Ryan Shazia. I don't know how glitchy he is. So I had to power down Herman Moore. And I will put it in that set. And also from the tokens that you would get. It's just like last year with the uh, captain tokens. If you guys did not play Madden 19 last year. I'll show you guys right here. Because what I like is you can also see that he goes all the way up to a 99. Mine's not done yet though. I am getting it done though this weekend. But what you would do is you would obviously do. You just put the training or whatever when you feel already done. And you will take the token and put it right here. You would go to a 91. Then there's, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? There's eight more tokens that will come out. Either every promo I'm going to guess they're going to do it or every other promo to make them 99 overalls. So And the best part I like about it is you can actually see their stats as a 99. Like for Ryan Chazier, he has, he'll get 97 stamina, 96 play rec, 90 hit power, with 95 speed, agility, and excel, with 96 awareness. That's what he'll be able to go up to. It's the same thing with Shannon Sharp, Ty Law, and Herman Moore. So that's the way that is. And pretty much that's all I got left. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want new. Follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description below. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'm out.